I am making an Italian meat and cheese French bread pizza. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. All right, so I am taking this. How many feet do you think that is? I don't know. That's gonna, like, are we going to measure it? Well, that's like four feet. So I'm going to cut it right in half. This is a French bread right out of your bakery. Nice. I've cut it in half. Save some bread for me. All right, you me. ready for that? You got half. This is for you. I'll take okay, it. Okay, I'm going to start off. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. So we're going to take all the good stuff you find at the deli. All right. First of all, always extra virgin olive oil. Okay. A little, just to get the thing started. You got to start the engine of the sandwich, right? A little drizzle. I think Jeff Morrow would approve of that. A little salt and pepper. <laughs> A little pepper. Hey, yeah, we got our, now we got the engine started and we can lay on the marinara sauce. This is jarred marinara. You can make your own, but you don't have to. Oh. I'm looking forward to not only your sandwich, but your football references, Jeezy. You like that? I'm going to get there. Well, yeah. you're going to put plenty of this marinara. This is the base of everything. This makes everything sing together. Spread it out a little bit like that. A little bit more. And we have preheated our oven to 450 degrees. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's hot. It's hot, but we're not going to put this in too long. And then... Some deli meat. So I have, in honor of Jeff Morrow, some sopressat, which is really a rough grind salami. A lot of spicy. You can get sweet and spicy. This is spicy, because I like it spicy. And I'm just going to sort of ribbon this. You don't want to lay it flat. You want to try to ribbon as much as possible. I learned that from the Sandwich King. I don't know how many this is going to feed, but it's going to feed a lot of people. Yeah, that's the beauty of a big game party is you just put that buffet out there oh. and you hope you make it. But if you get to halftime and there's no food left, I'm call the pizza people, tell them to deliver. Some regular salami again. I'm just going to like sort of make it nice and ribbony, right? And not going to yeah. lay it flat. You want it to be fluffy. It's making my mouth water just, just doing this. All right, and then what I've done is I bought my favorite mozzarella. I love mozzarella, but I love smoked mozzarella. I love that smoky tasty. flavor. It's really tasty. Even, you know, and when it's cooked, it's even better. So some smoked mozzarella right on top, just like that. Yum, yummy. I heard big game day. They're sold. How many pizzas are sold? Take a guess. Um, on the day. On the day. In America only, I will yeah. say 40 million pizzas. 12 million. That was okay. close. <laughs> wow, I overestimated. <laughs> that was close. Okay, I mean, you know, it's a lot of pizzas. I think it is the backup uh, for a lot of big game parties, but this is a great way to show everyone how to make something very simple very and simple. satisfying uh, for a crowd. Okay, we're going to come down to the home stretch. We are going to put that in the oven at 450 for about 10 minutes. Let's finish with the cheese. And I also like to finish with a little bit of Parmesan cheese ground before I put it in. Oh, boy. You can't have enough cheese. You just can't. All right, I'm going in 450, about 10 minutes, nice and melty melt, and I'm going to finish it. In the meantime, Sonny, start your engine. Get in here real close and look what I've done. You see how nice and, and crispy and crunchy the cheese has gotten? Oozing all over the place. I'm going to top this off with some of my favorite things. This is ricotta salata, which is basically a ricotta that's dry and aged. It's going to crumble right on top of that. And be generous with this stuff. This is not a day to be parsimonious. <laughs> His favorite word for me. Look Some it up. olives, regular black olives pitted, of course, on top of that. Pickled peppers. Some pickled canned peppers, cherry peppers, any of your favorite peppers on that. Jardinera, if you'd like. A lot of jardinera. You want to have that nice spice, which is going to really work against all that cheese and meat. And then fresh basil, basil. I just like to tear it up with my hands, put it on top like that. Be oh. very generous with this. You want to have that fresh basil pop in your mouth to go with that nice jardinera and the pickle and then that olive. And then, what? gotta be spicy. Some red pepper flakes. Some <laughs> grated Pecorino Romano. And just to top it off because you can, and I love to. That's beautiful. A little extra virgin olive oil. There you go. Look at that.